It's finally time for League of Legends. You see this champion and you decide to play him. You go into game and... You have been slain. And you go to YouTube or TikTok, watch some Rosalind videos and get excited. Try again. Defeat. And you're off of the stone to damage. Why? Let's find out. Let's start by understanding who is Aphelios and what he's capable of doing. I have already a beginner friendly guide and combo guide in my YouTube channel that you can find them in the description, but I still want to go over things very quick. Unlike the other champions, he has a very unique kit. Some players say, when you learn the champion, it's so easy to play. Well, is this a real case? I don't think so. Because his hidden power is all about the small details. Some people also say, just auto attack, Aphelios is not complicated. Well, not complicated for you, <clears throat> Anyways, I'll give you some explanation about the small details. 1. Auto attack before anything you do. You're wasting this potential? Auto attacking enemies before you use your skill is a small detail but very big difference. 2. The bait trick. You're complaining about nobody walks into your sentry because you're doing it wrong. You have three options. One, walk into them, make it weird. Use your sentry and run back. They won't see the animation, so they'll just walk. Even in high low, people fall for this and get marked one or two times. Maybe more. And this much marks will make their health perfect for finishing them with octopus combo. Number 2. You use walls or turret to extend the sentry range and when you place it. Third! The Rose Special! You place your sentries to bushes, I guarantee you they'll walk and just use your marks and kill them! Third small detail! Marks! When you leave your sentry, never ever 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 A few moments later Ever forget to use your marks, use every single of them <laughs> The fourth one! Banana Ferios kit <clears throat> Sorry, that The fourth one Ammo organization since you are watching my videos, you already know what the weapon rotation is. Just in case, this is the weapon rotation. But ammo organization is so important. The rule is having around 40% to 60% lesser ammo on the weapon that you are going to finish first. This will help you to never ruin your rotation. Because sometimes you will need to use the weapon first that you should keep and it will ruin it. Extra detail! We have two main combinations. Green-white and red-blue are the main combinations. Another extra detail! Green and purple is so strong in their own job, but later in the game, they might fall off. These weapon means single target execution. But faster the late game gets, the casting times and animation times makes these two a little weaker. So by following the ammo organization, try to waste these two quickly by starting with green. There are so many more small details, but here's the last one for this video. Potential of your range. You have the longest range if you play right. When you mark them with red in early game, or mark them with your sentry from this far, protect your distance. Meanwhile, you kill them from moon, they are not even able to touch you. If they run away, you walk to them. If they try to run to you, you walk back. You are the hunter, and they are the prey. Now I'll give some important details. Number 1. People think Aphelios is only good at late game, but in reality, his early game is one of the most dominant too. You even be Draven. Draven. You're expected to win your lane even if you are one of the strongest late game champions. But same question again, right? Rose, my Aphelios don't do damage. Small details. Oh, also your runes and build. What to build? After the buffs, you can start with Dorn's Blade. If lane is slow, you can't be aggressive, still go with cooldown. Longsword against poke poke lanes, or if you want to build lethality. <laughs> <laughs>
if you are not building Lutelti, start with Kraken. And this is situational when you need zoning or hit and run playstyle. But I really recommend building Infinity Age if you go this far. Second item! It's Infinity Age! Most important thing about Aphelios is crit, because his stats you can go good for situationally. If your team is weirdo, no engage, if they're enemy mages, or enemy Rukan. Okay, of course, counter some champions specifically. But remember, you're wasting a very big damage potential for a 2 minute cooldown dash. Third item is Bloodthirster! Or armor penetration item if enemy has tanks. Fourth item is same, you either go armor penetration or Bloodthirster or shield bow. I go shield bow instead of Bloodthirster sometimes. And the last item is. up to you. Guardian Angel, Ronan, Borg, Tank Item, Rebidons! I'm just kidding. But what about the runes, Rose? Lane domination or squishy enemies, PTA. Other than that, go conquer. 10 key enemies, long skirmishes, a lot of healing, conquer. Fleet footwork is the one that I least choose, but we take this against mages, poke poke lanes, or we have a very passive support, basically just giving up the lane and trying to farm. Fleet footwork. Wait, why are you still here? Little tempo? <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, so fair. Enemy 